Welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. So today's video is Shop My Stash, where I set up my planner card and my washi for the month of October. This is just a helpful tool for me when I go to planning or creating. I have all the tools I need to plan or all my favorite sticker books. So if this is a video you're interested in, then keep on watching. So let's dive right in. I'm gonna go through these stickers that I set up last video. If you guys haven't checked that out and you wanna watch those or any of my previous Shop My Stash, it will be linked down below. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna go through these sticker books to see what I want to take away or keep. So here is Happy Planner and here is Wrong Wrong and I have Planny Thing. So we'll start with Happy Planner. We have Dream Seeker, which I think is a really great one for fall. Um, I may wanna keep that one. We have Glitter Paint. I really didn't get to use this one as much, so I may wanna keep that one. I think this is a really fun one for your like spooky spreads. I have Modern Meow, which I think is really cute. I love all the kitties, especially the black and white one. So this one I may keep as well. I have Papillon, which I did get to use in my daily petite. So I'm gonna put this one aside because I just feel like this one's more September and November. Okay, I have Every Day by Wrong Wrong. I did get a chance to use this one. I think this was really fun. I love the illustrations of all the girls. Um, so I'm gonna put this one aside for this time. I have Colorful Leopard, which I thought would be a fun one to use since I haven't used it in a while for the fall. Um, I think I'm gonna put this one to the side and maybe bring it back out in November. But um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, I have this wrong wrong. Now this one is an accessory book by Happy Planner. They don't make these anymore. Um, but this one is a seasonal one. So this one I may keep. So this one I may keep. So this is a maybe. So I have Bookish because I am a mom of two girls and I do love this one. It's super, super cute. I love all the books and the cats and it's very colorful. So I really love this one. Um, so this one I'm gonna put back though because I feel like I've used it quite a bit. And I'm gonna move these out of the way so they're not in frame. So I have Books Are Magic. This is another one of Bookish. So I'm gonna put this one back. But again, I love this sticker book or this collection because it's super cute. It was in the back to school a while ago at Michael's. Okay, I have Cheerful Season. Now this one I did not put in my original Shop My Stash, but I was kind of already looking through my stickers to get ready to change everything up. So this one I'm actually gonna keep um, because it has some fun October stickers in there or mainly Halloween. So if you're new to my Shop My Stash or my channel, I do have a love for Halloween. I just love the month of October. I just wanna make sure that I have all the cute stickers in my collection and they're getting used, right? Because if you guys notice, I do shop a lot when it comes to this. It is my hobby and my love, but anywho, I'm gonna keep this one. Next up is seasonal type. Um, this is for the big actually from Happy Planner. Um, and I think I may use this more towards the winter in November. So not for October. I'm gonna put this one back. Okay, I have in here a little sticker pack. This was on a dashboard that came in a Be Happy box. Super cute collection. Um, I think this came out in 2020. It's kind of like colorful leopard. So um, I, I feel like I wanna keep it just to use it since I'm putting back colorful leopard. So we'll see. This might be a maybe. I have Cool To Be Kind. Again, I was pulling things for back to school. Um, this is a really cute one. I'm gonna put this one back though. Okay, so we have Going Places. I have two actually, the Classic and the Mini. Um, these were really fun, um, but they're more of like travel around the world type of thing, but they have a lot of cute decos and things. Um, I'm gonna put these back. I did get a chance to use some stickers, but I'm gonna put these back for this month. Okay, so I have Boss Babe, Goals, and Maribou. Those are the last ones here. And then I have some accessory packs that I'm gonna put back. <laughs> I always try to pull those. When I do shop my stash, I always look for functional, favorites, sticker books that I haven't used in a while, like one or two, um, and then maybe some new things that I've picked up and definitely seasonally. Um, but yeah, I always try to pull these accessory books. They're super old, but super cute. Um, but I'm gonna put those back because I, I want to move on to different color um, palettes and new stickers, so. This is Boss Babe and Goals. I like to use these for when I do creative content, 
or just when I want to work on a special project. And these stickers here are really cute and motivational for that. So I have Boss Babe and Goals. So I may want to keep these just because there's only two of these. Um, I do have this. So this is a cart. It's a three cart um, shelf. And the second one is more of my um, functional use sticker. So I may want to swap that around and put those in there. Okay, and the last one is Maribou. I thought this would be a cute one for the fall or for September. Um, it definitely has those color tones where you can get away with using that, especially if you live in a warmer climate <laughs> like I do. But I still didn't get a chance to use this one, so I'm gonna put it back and maybe try it another time. All right, so just in case you wanna see, these are the accessory books by Happy Planner. They're very old. You may be able to find them <laughs> like in a clearance section at Michael's or something but um, they're really cute pastel student related stickers. So I'm gonna put those back. Okay, so we got one bin done. Um, now we're gonna move on to this side here. So I have Grateful Heart, which definitely I'm gonna keep. This was a collab with Amy Tangerine. If you guys wanna grab the sticker book, I would definitely do so. It's super cute and new for the season and there's a link down below and you can save Sarah 10. So I'm definitely keeping this one. Tis the season. I'm actually just going to keep this out because I do work on projects um, in advance. So it's just it's very helpful to have this out. So even though we're not there yet with the season, um, I just thought it would be fun to jumpstart on some projects. So I'm going to keep that one. I have Autumn in the Country, which is a really cute one. I have done a spread with this in my Daily Petite Planner, which is super cute. You can totally use these stickers in a Daily Petite Planner. Definitely check out my plans with me. I, sh I share how to, but I'm gonna keep that one. Um, so these sticker sheets by Wrong Wrong clipped on a binder because they're not like a sticker book form. So let's see, I have Hello Fall, which is a cute one that came out last year. I think I'm gonna keep that one. I have Wild Thing. I think this is a cute one for the fall because of the leopard and the color tones. So I may put that one back for now though. And then I have Enchante. Um, I have used this in the compact vertical for the EC, but I haven't used it in my petite planner. So I'm gonna put this one back for now. Then I have, I don't think I pulled these out last time, but when I do a haul, I try to keep things close to my desk as possible so I know where everything is. So these are Simply Gilded's sticker packs, um, her October one. So I know I wanna keep these. And I love that they come in these little folders because it just keeps it cute and organized. So I'm definitely keeping that. Um, I wanna use more of her sticker kits in my compact vertical and of course my daily petite. Okay, these are hard to get out. So that's why I try to keep these on a binder clip. Um, this is cute. So. Again, these were collab with JoJo Pretty Paper Shop and it's just really fun and I love the color palettes. This one's um, more of a spring vibe to me, so I'm definitely just trying to pull for more October um, stickers. So we're gonna put this one aside. Mom Life, I think this is a great fall sticker book. It has a lot of the great color tones in there. And if you are a mommy or a young mommy, oh my gosh, this would be a perfect one, but I may keep this one, I'm not really sure. Um, my kids are a little bit older, but I still love all the mom vibes. <laughs> I still do all the things. Um, okay, so next I have I Can and I Will. This is a great motivational sticker book. I kind of use this for like great quotes um, for my content planner and it's just really cute. I don't, is this more seasonal like? Yes, it is, it is. Okay, so I may want to keep this one. Then I have, this is my year, this is like a, boss babe type of sticker book i've used this quite a bit i'm actually going to put this one back since i have i can and i will just to make some room next up i have self love this is um, a beautiful wellness sticker book this may be something i think i may want to keep and use some of the quote stickers for my jmb living journal that i'm going to be starting in october so i may want to keep that one okay so that's all wrong wrong now let's move on to plan anything so my favorite from her, and make sure you guys are subscribed and you have your notifications on because she has had a moving sale and her advent calendar is coming out and then something else. I think she did a restock of her Halloween stickers that came out, like her dedicated Halloween sticker book, which I have. 
right here. Happy Halloween. And I love that I just kind of look at the icons to remember what the sticker book is. But yes, definitely turn on your notifications on. Okay, so I'm going to keep functional boxes because I think this is a really great sticker book to have. I have crystal florals, which I, I think is a really great sticker book for September, especially like the crystals and the purples. You could do something fun for like, um, you know, a hocus pocus vibe if you're into that or just, I don't know, if you like crystals. I think it's cute. So this one I may keep. Autumn leaves and florals. Of course, I'm going to keep that one. Happy Halloween. Of course, I'm going to keep this one. Um, let's see. Pumpkin vibes. This may have been the one that she, um, she restocked. So definitely, again, check that out so you don't miss out on that sticker book. Because these are all like limited editions. There's no reprint or anything like that. Um, I have... This one came out last year. This was her Ottoman Florals and Pumpkins last year. So I'm going to keep that one because I have some Halloween stuff. Um, all the Seasons. These came out last year. Let me see what... Okay, I still have like quite a bit of fall. I'm going to keep that one. Um, okay, I'm going to have to put these aside for a second. Houses and trees. These are really great to make scenes if you're into making scenes in your planner layouts or if you're using them for extra special projects. Ooh, the houses in here are super cute. That would be cute for like a cute haunted house spread or if you're doing a bucket list. Again, memory keeping. Okay, so this one's Houses and Trees one, uh, 1. This is part 2. Let's see what's in here. I think I should just keep one. I think I'm liking the other one because of the creepy Victorian houses. Yeah. So I'm going to put part 2 back. Then I have Seasonal Fun. Wow, Plenty Thing has been rocking it with her seasonal sticker books. Oh, look at the holiday ones. Okay, that does have Halloween in there. I'm going to have to keep that one. Okay, lastly is seasonal florals. I think this one I can put back. So I got two down. And I have all these other sticker books to put in here. Okay, so also what I'm going to add to this um, bin here is this is a cute little Patreon um, sticker kit from Happy to Plan Desiree. So if you guys want to check out her Patreon, um, definitely follow her on Instagram and YouTube. You probably already know her. You probably already in her Patreon, but she makes cute little extra stickers for her Patreons and she designed this one with her sister, which is so cute. I love their little faces that they're making and I can't wait to do a spread with that. So also what I need to add is the new Halloween book by Wrong Wrong. So I'm gonna add that there. And so now we're gonna work on Happy Planner. So what I pulled really quickly is, well, these are my new sticker books. So these are the um, Pixar collab and then the new seasonal one of Mickey and Minnie. So those are definitely going in there. Then I have the Villains. This came out last year, so I'm super excited about using this one. Next, I have the small pack. This is the Fall Harvest, which is super cute. So I'm going to put that one in there. This is Halloween that came out last year for Happy Planner. So I'm going to put that one in there. This is a fall one that has some um, spookier stickers in here and fall. So I'm going to put that one in there. Then I have the Seasons one. Then I have um, Seasonal Sticker Babe. Oh my gosh. I was deciding whether or not I want this one. I think I like this one more than Squad Girls. I don't know. This one just grown on me so much. It's just super cute. I, I didn't think I was going to like the stick girls or whatever, but I really do. I'm going to go ahead and add Glitter Paint, Modern Meow, and then Cheerful Seasons. Then I have Stargazer. I did see a new one um, come out released. I think this... But I think that version came out last year, not this year. It had more green tones. 
So that was the sticker book I was thinking about picking up, but don't you just love this purple color on this cover? I don't know what it is, but I just love it. Um, so I'm going to stick this one in here. I don't think I have a whole lot of stickers left. I Again, I love the crystal look or vibe for the fall as far as like sticker theme. Um, and then this one's super old, but this section right here, if you guys can see that, has a lot of great Halloween stickers. So I want to use this one. That was from my stash or my cart behind this one. If you guys have seen my other videos, it's over there. Okay, this one um, has a really cute Halloween, like traditional, like super cute, and the ghosts in this sticker book are super cute. So I'm gonna pull this one. I really want another backup of this one. This one's kind of like my favorite that Happy Planner has put out. Um, and then here's Squad Girls. I don't know if I wanna put this one in yet because these two wrong wrongs are also seasonal sticker books. So they have some good Halloween stickers in there and I know when I put those in there, I feel like I have enough room for more. This is what I have left. I have Squad Goals, because it has the cute fall one. Um, I have this other fall sticker book, which I love. Um, it doesn't have any, this is kind of like revamp for fall harvest. This is dedicated just to like fall, so maybe September and November or October if you don't celebrate Halloween, but um, definitely just has a lot of fall related stickers in here. So this is why I'm kind of debating if I want to keep this one or pull this one back out in November. But I don't know if anybody knew this, but in this washi strip paper, there are ghosts in there. So, I mean, I feel like I have space. Um, then I have this seasonal one. This is another old one. Um, this collection here, I love the purples. So I love this color palette. That's why I pulled this one. And then essential um, icons, this is new. Um, it doesn't have, it doesn't have like, it's not like all, I don't think it has seasons throughout the whole year. It's just like everyday essentials. So the only thing I could possibly get away with using is like everyday stuff or like a coffee theme. So that could go in there. So maybe I'll put the other one back. Cause I am also on the hunt for this full sticker book. Um, I'm actually going to call soon <laughs> for them to put that on hold for me um and then what do I have left over here I have dream seeker and then this other accessory book for the fall stuff which is not a whole lot and I did pull out those other ones I just love the cats in this one um this is a cute sticky note so maybe I'll just keep this one and should I keep this one? I, mean, I feel like I have tons of space, so maybe I'll just make it work. Okay, so I'll put back Dream Seeker and this, this fall one, I'll just go ahead and put it in here. So some of these may stay once I move into like Christmas and November. Um, Dream Seeker, I'm going to put... So now we're looking at the second shelf, and this bin, I don't even think I touched as much this September. This is all Agenda 52, basically Hobby Lobby stickers and Michael stickers, like old collab stickers with one ton of million, sweet, quiet designs. I really want to use these more, um, but I didn't touch this bin at all. And how cute is this one? Like this would make a cute fall sticker theme. Um, I'm originally from Texas, so I love the, anything like farm-like and um, which is funny because I don't do my house in that type of decor, <laughs> but my family does and I love it. Um, but this would be so cute. So let's go through this one first. Um, this is like all my, this one's like so full. I don't know how I put extra stickers in here, but Functional boxes, alphabet, journaling. Let's just see if I want to get rid of some of these. Um, fitness, which honestly, I haven't really touched in a while. I used to be really good. If you guys have seen my other plans with me, um, that's when I was using a happy planner and I was really good on that. But my life has taken a toll, to be quite honest with you, after I got COVID. Like I've been pulling like back and it's more of like mentally planning. I mean, I do shoot to work out, 
but it's just wasn't as strong as before. Um, I'm not giving up. <laughs> I just, I do need to have a sticker book, I think for just quotes. Like I used to do a whole like spread in the teacher um, because you could customize the boxes and I would do all that. But anyways, I may just keep some for just good quotes. Um, but as far as like, I don't know. I do want to keep these though. As far as like doing a whole plan with me, I haven't been doing that in quite some time. Um, but I do make healthy habits in my daily petite planner. And I do, again, I do make time for um, exercising. Okay, so I have handwritten plans. This one I haven't really used. I don't know. I love this one more, guys, than the one that I bought from the new. The one that I bought this year that came out. I just, I had issues with this one. I, I really just prefer all in one color. I think if they're gonna remake something like this and if you're gonna do the whole color thing, just make sure that half of it is all black and half of it is either black or gold and keep it the same um, headers. Like don't mix all the headers because it, I don't know. I just really prefer this one. So I don't know, I, I don't know about those right now. Uh, okay, so I have Super Mom. Again, I like having these functional stickers here because they have a lot of cute icon stickers for daily stuff. And I like to do that because I use a daily and I'm able to focus on what I need to get done. And I usually just make lots of lists. But lately I've been using uh, Planner Kate and I have those in my folio, uh, Nicole Hutch Design. So that's why I haven't really been pulling these. Um but I do need to put some back because this thing is overfilled. Another workout one, celebrate. So maybe we can consolidate these with touching each subject so that way it's not overfilled. Another mom one, um, this is a budget one which I'm super excited about like diving into more of that this year to go on to next year. Mood tracking, food, alphabet. So I have two alphabets in here. I don't need both. Um, essential planning. I always try to use this one. It's very colorful, but like, I don't ever use these stickers. <laughs> like, I don't know what it is. It is. I think it is great for a dashboard. If you guys have the dashboard for a happy planner. Um, household. Oh my gosh. I love this one. Again, it's got all those black and white icon stickers. So I know I'm going to keep this one. Okay. So we're gonna keep household. I'm gonna keep these two fitness ones instead of that other one, which was, where is it? Work it out. I'm gonna keep these two, cause, and I'm gonna put these in the front. So let's hold off on that. Colorful boxes, an essential sticker book to have. Um, and then I have the two alphabets. So this was the very first one the 365 and then this was the second one they released which I love this one more but I'm kind of running out of letters does this have black in it is it just blue oh it does have uh, I'm gonna put this one back and just keep the other one so I need an alphabet sticker in there I'm gonna put in the journaling because they're black and white and I really love those let's look through the mom sticker books because I have a couple of those I don't need all of them even though I like all of them. Okay, so this one is kind of mismatched and I actually have some wellness sticker sheets that I took out of my D stash. Um, so this is the mini and I have the larger ones, the mini and the larger one. We'll go with the mini. I'll put back the classic is what I meant. And then I have, again, the mini and the mom and the classic. I don't need both. So let me flip through those. And then I have the mini planner basics. Oh my gosh, I really wish they would redo those. Okay, I'm gonna go with the mini because since I use a daily petite, I think it would work better. But if I'm starting to use the compact vertical, I may wanna use the other one. Okay, I'm gonna use, okay, I only need one. So I'm gonna keep the mini. I'm gonna keep planner basics. So I've put those two back. I've put back workout. I'm gonna put back essential planning. I'm gonna keep, I haven't been using food. 
but I'm going to keep food because that's a sticker book that I always pull. Celebrate. Yes, we need those for celebrations and birthdays. Mood tracking. Mm, this actually may work well with Fat J and B Living. So I may want to keep that one. Oh, um, budget. Even though these are really colorful. I think Happy Planner came out, or correct me if I'm wrong, I thought they came out with a more neutral version of budget. Um, I may have to check that out. And if I can get this to fit, I'm going to put budget, handwritten, and the new one. Hand letter, bit, hand letter basics. Oh gosh, I can't talk. And I'm going to put this wellness one up in the front. Okay, that works. So I got rid of four, four books. So perfect. Okay, so now let's look through this one. You may want to keep this one. It's so cute. This is a seasonal one of Agenda. Um, I'm not going to flip through all of these because I've done this shop my stash quite a bit on my channel. If you guys want to see some of those, um, I share more flip throughs. Okay, these two are like birthday and springy. I'm going to put these back. Um, this one's all purple. I've been wanting to try to use this one, so I'm going to keep that one. This is like a mom functional one. Um, let me put that one back. This is a mom life fitness one. This has some purple colors. So I'm looking for like jewel tones and like warm colors, like reds and mustard. So this kind of does, honestly, if I needed... Okay, we'll see about that one. Okay, this is a good one. This has those types of colors that I'm looking for. It is a teacher one. So it's not like school related, mom life stuff. This one, day to day. This is also, kind of have those same colors in there is what I'm looking for. So these might stay the same, honestly. Not a lot of change up here. Budget, Boss Bay, that's a, cute one. Oh, this one I can put back. I didn't even use this one. I've been trying to use this one. I'll put back this one. Um, I have This Is Us. Fun collection. Collabs. Michaels. And this is an old recollection. Seasonal sticker pack. So I'll leave that one in there. Okay. But I do have um, where I keep these extra stickers. I'm going to check if there's anything I want to add to this spot. I'm going to add these. These are super old. Again, some of my stuff, when I rotate through them, it's nothing new. So some of these bins may get changed up a ton, and then others not. So these are like, well, this one's like a coffee theme, or I'm sorry. This one's like a donut theme, this one's like a foodie theme, and this is like um, everyday little sticker book. Um, so no new Agenda 52 stickers. A lot of it I already pulled the color themes that I'm going for, but then I have like this big gap space, so I may try to figure out what to put there because I don't like how that falls back like that. Um, but that's okay, it. Okay, so this is the third shelf, last shelf. Um, these are all my sticker book organizers, um, which I'm going to just leave here, honestly. The only thing I want to swap out is, or take out, I need to take these out and put them somewhere else. These are my random Planner Kate headers. These are like the 4th of July ones, the summer ones. These are so large. Um, I put them there so they... So they wouldn't get lost. So I'm going to find a new home for them. And then this was another sticker. I'm actually going to swap them out. Because look at this purple one. It's so pretty. So this has a nautical theme one that I want to swap out. I never got a chance to use that one. But that's okay. I That's why I go through this. Th this is why I go through my stash. So I know what I have. And I can use them. Okay, so I'm going to put these Halloween sticker kits in here. Oh, I have extra journaling cards. Actually, I'm going to take those out so I know where those are. 
So I'm gonna put that back up there. Then I have, they're just cute stickers that I've made with my stamps. So I'm just gonna keep those there for now. Um, and what I was saying is what I really wanna swap out are my Simply Gilded. The, this one here is all Shine Sticker Studio seasonal, but I have a dedicated fall one. <laughs> so let me grab those. And that's what I'll put in this bin down here. Okay, this is my dedicated <laughs> Halloween stickers. I know, I know, but I'm just crazy like that. So I have all these in here. I think I've shared these before on my channel. Um, these came out last year from Simply Gilded and I just bought the set so it'd be easier. So these two, I have larger stickers kits in here and then smaller ones in here. So I'm gonna put these down here. And then I'm hoping this one will fit. So this one I'm gonna eventually replace because I'm also gonna do like dedication to fall and Thanksgiving type of stickers. And that's what this one has. Um, so if I'm not in the mood to do like every week Halloween, this is why I'm pulling other fall related stickers. You know what I mean? And that way when I do transition, I don't have to pull so much. Um, I do have a pretty gold one from Simple Gilded that I bought last year for Christmas. So I'll be able to spend time and set that one up. But I do need to replace this one with like a fall color. Maybe like a mustard color. Or, I, don't, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But right now it's in this colorful one. Okay, cool. So that fits perfectly down Since there. I have space on the shelf for extra stickers. And honestly, my biggest chunk of sticker collection is Happy Planner. Um... So that's what I have most of that I can rotate through a lot more. So I'm gonna pull Tiny. This is like the old school of Essential Icons, the one that just came out. I think that's what it's called, I forget. Okay, this one I love more. This is more of my style. I feel like it has actual essential. Like this one, I feel like they pulled, they try to pull in seasonal things. Um, like there's some summer stuff, but I don't know. But I like this one more. If you have these two, let me know which one's your favorite. Are you in essential icons or tiny or both? Um, so I'm gonna add this one because this this is one of my top, ultimate top 10, I think. Did I do a video on that? Top 10 or top 20 um, on my channel. And then the two um, Boss Babe ones, I forgot about that on my desk, so I'm gonna add those in the back. And then I did pull this one when I redid this for September, I think. And I kind of want to use more of these. So these are kind of like my colorful boxes. You know, they have more functional use of like trackers and bullet points. So it's very old, but I want to see if I can pull some of those. And then this alphabet letter sticker. I forgot I had that. And I kind of just used that to set up my planner. So I'm going to set these back here. Okay. So perfect. And then for Live Love Posh, I have hers on my desk. I have a pretty display of her stickers on my desk. So there's those that I can just pull off my desk. So now we're going to go into washi. So I hope you have stayed this long through this video. Um, maybe you're doing the same thing. If you are, let me know. I think that's so cool that it's a helpful tool to go through your stuff if you if this is your hobby or if this is what you love doing. Um, it's just something that's helped me go through my stuff because I need to and doing it quarterly may help you out in that way So you're not changing everything once a month. I don't know, but let me know if you are doing this as well Okay, so this is my washi little stand here and I need to take all this out I may do like a little bit of fall up here like more traditional fall colors and then maybe halloween stuff down at the bottom because i do have a halloween cart i did this last year because i was doing october daily and i had a lot of just halloween stash stuff and i was doing october daily and i have like a dedication for like the rest of my halloween stuff it would not fit on this little thing um so yeah, I'm going to take all this off and then I'll share with you what it looks like so we can wrap up this video. But this is one of the sticker books, Hello Fall from Live Love Posh that I will be using. I know she has a new one um, that I've been trying to get. They're so popular. They're um, amazing sticker books. They're always being restocked. But yeah, so that will be something that I'll be using as well.
Okay, so let me take all these washies out. Okay, so here's a look at what my washi tower is going to look like. So I decided to swap. I originally said that I was gonna put all the Halloween or October spooky ones down here and then fall up here. But I think it would be smarter to have the majority down here because once I transition back into November, I'll have most of them pulled already. And I will just have to swap this out. Um, these are actually all my new ones that I've, um, well, some of them. Some of them are colors that I already had pulled, like the smaller ones. Um, but yeah, it just makes sense to leave these here. And I'll share at the end of the video a quick little clip of my Halloween cart. I kind of just left it. So it's just been there for the past year. It just keeps it organized and I don't have to worry about putting it away or anything. But... That's all my washi. It looks so super cute. And this stays on my desk. So if I'm in the mood to do a certain theme or color, I can just pull from the washi as an inspiration and it just sits right here on my desk. This is my Halloween cart. It has all my Halloween stamps, my cute little planner that has some Halloween spreads. I think I used that in a, I transitioned into that in the fall when I first moved to California. Um, just to keep me occupied because that was a weird time for me. Um, and then it kind of looks a little messy because I've been digging through it. So I have wooden stamps. I have paper. Um, just cute little things to put this together. This is all my washi. <laughs> I know. This is crazy. Um, so it's just different washi brands like from craft stores and kits and michaels and then um this is actually all my simply gilded halloween washi i think i've shared this before on my channel but i just i don't know i don't know when i'll grow out of it <laughs> right now i love it so anywho thanks so much for checking out shop my stash with me and i will see you on the next one be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video so take care stay safe and happy planning